These are the days you just love being a builder. It's going to be a beautiful 30 degree day and if you're lucky, I might even get the fins out. <laughs> just kidding. No, the great thing about it is our Stratco water tanks have arrived on time. So I'm going to install these today and then we're going to start harvesting some rainwater. All right, so this comes in two parts. We've got our legs, which is an option, because we're not on a, a straight slab. We're actually going to put it on pavers. And your water tank. So this came on the back of a crane truck. Nice and easy, no hassles on my back. But now I've called in the big guns. Maddie's going to give me a hand getting it into place. These water tanks are going to work out perfect under here. As you can see, we haven't got a lot of room, but they're nice and hidden. So I haven't gone to the expense of putting in my poly tanks. But before we put them into place, I just have to level up the ground a little bit, and I'm going to put them down on concrete pavers. Because as you can imagine, a thousand litres of water in each of these tanks is going to weigh a lot. So if you just put it on normal dirt, it is going to sink. But I'll show you how to level up these pavers. Perfect. So what I've done to get my area ready is just cleared out all the rubbish. You generally get a lot when it's a building site. Got that in the skip and then I've generally levelled off the area. Now you always start with one paver as the level. Make sure it's compacted nicely so it's not going to sink when it gets under weight. You can then use the level of that paver on your next paver. Work around the four pavers and when they're all level, you're ready to install your water tanks. So there's a little trick with these frames. They're great because they're galvanised, so they can go anywhere outdoors. But if you're on a pre-existing slab that might not be level, or if you're a little bit out on your pavers, so we can bring it up, and that's nice and sturdy. All that's left to do is get the tanks in here. A little bit. All right, she in. Beautiful. So all that's left to do now is we plumb it up. I've got a little pump coming which is going to power our toilets, our outdoor hoses and our irrigation system. Now, really, for the bit of time and mucking around, it's a great investment. And as I said, on most homes, it's a requirement under any building laws. So a thousand litre tank is going to do quite a bit, but because I like to do things right, we're going to install a second one of these. That's going to give us a total of 2,000 litres, which is plenty to run my three toilets and my outdoor hose. Now, the other thing is we do have a big roof, so if these overflow, they've got a little valve here which I'm going to connect into our stormwater drain. It's going to go straight to the street and escape. If we have a drought and these tanks run dry, never fear because our pump will kick into the mains and supply these with all the water it needs so our toilets are never without water and our gardens can thrive. Really, these are just doing your bit for the environment and from day one, they're going to start making your money by saving your money on your water costs.